Hey there guys, my name is Brandon and welcome to the video. If you guys are new to this channel, if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm probably going to make a video about it. And in today's video guys, we're going to discuss Devin Booker being snubbed from the NBA All-Star Game in 2018. Yeah, let's talk about this. Okay, you guys know me. I am a massive Phoenix Suns fan, so please keep in mind that this is not me being a salty Phoenix Suns fan. I'm just giving you my reason and my opinions why I think Devin Booker should be an NBA All-Star this year. Alrighty guys, so first off, let's break down the stats and facts. Devin Booker's only been in the league for three years, but it seems like within those three years, he keeps on making NBA history. Obviously, a lot of NBA fans know him by his 70-point game. Because Devin Booker is such an elite scorer, it seems like Devin Booker keeps breaking records by becoming the youngest player to do blank or the fastest player to do blank. Devin Booker is only one of three players averaging 25 points per game while shooting at least 38% from three-point range and also shooting 43% from the field. The other two NBA players, you might have heard of them. James Harden, Kevin Durant. Devin Booker is also averaging 4.5 rebounds per game and averaging an impressive 4.7 assists per game. He's a really good ball handler. He's becoming great at running the point guard position. I'm not saying he's going to become a point guard or he should be the Phoenix Suns' future point guard. I'm just saying that he can handle the ball handling duties and he does it fantastically. And guys, it comes down to this. The Phoenix Suns are 17 and 30 right now. We are not one of the best teams in the NBA, and I think that's the reason why Booker was not selected because of the talent around him, because of the Phoenix Suns embracing this timeline. Devin Booker is the Phoenix Suns franchise player. That's what it comes down to. He's saying all the right things. He's doing all the right things. He has the mentality to become a future NBA All-Star. Honorable mention to TJ Warren as well. Devin Booker is a really smart guy. He's a really humble guy for someone who was only 21 years of age. Multiple NBA players and coaches have praised Devin Booker's name. Guys, I do not wish injury upon any NBA player, but I think Devin Booker's kind of got to be hoping that somebody gets hurt so that he can become an NBA All-Star as an injured reserve. Devin Booker will definitely be an NBA All-Star next year. And I will say this again, guys. TJ Warren. Don't sleep on TJ Warren. He has all-star potential as well. And guys, it has been reported that Devin Booker is planning on participating in the NBA three-point shootout. As a rookie, Devin Booker placed third place in his rookie year behind Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. So if Devin Booker is selected, which I'm pretty sure he will be. So guys, it is pretty awesome that Devin Booker will be participating in the three-point shootout. Devin Booker is shooting 38%. He has hit a total of 99 three-pointers as of January 23rd, 2018 on 259 attempts, and he has scored a total of 925 points. He's one of the elite scorers in the NBA. And honestly, guys, I feel like Troy Daniels, his teammate, should come with him. Troy Daniels has been great this year for the Phoenix Suns. Troy Daniels is shooting 42% from three. He scored a total of 402 points as a Phoenix Sun. He's hit 106 threes. 251 attempts, and then there's this Phoenix Suns fact as well. So Devin Booker, you should have been an NBA All-Star this year, and I am hoping and praying that you will get in. And also, guys, if you are new to this channel, if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm probably going to make a video about it. My name is Brandon, and I'll see you guys next time.